Where's that hecking on button? Ooh, I found it! Let's play! Okay, so it's Toybox Thursday again, guys, and it's later on in the day from last week week's video so it's still bad lighting i'm afraid and i still got the sniffles this one is our final one in the series which is a little bit sad but we can get on to showing you some more toys now after this which is going to be pretty cool and loads of fun so we're going to do the last one the fish that does not get wet so we need a small measuring cup the fish template from the booklet, a bowl not included, and water which is also not included. So I need to put the fish in the bottom of the cup so it doesn't come out when it's upside down like that, see? Now, place this fish into the end of the small measuring cup. Done that. Fill the bowl with water, which I'm going to just use this jug that we used for last time. And turn the cup upside down, place it into the centre, holding the cup at all times, and observe the results. Now quickly and vertically remove the cup from the water and observe the results. Okay, will the fish get wet? Okay, we ready? Are you ready to observe the results? Is the fish wet? Okay, let's find out. The fish is moist. So, I'm going to call this video the fish that got damp. There we go. Damp fish. So, basically, when we're What's happened is basically when removing the cup from the bowl, you'll see the fish is apparently still dry, or in this case, a little bit damp. This happens because the cup isn't totally empty, even though it seems like it is. When placing the cup into the bowl of water, the air inside of it remains there. This prevents water from entering the cup and getting the fish wet. So quite interesting one to end really so let's shill 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 on this series we shall see you next time with some toys hopefully we'll do something blocks maybe we'll build something we'll see how it goes see you next time and bye